what's this? I'm being invited to the Soul Calibur 6 tournament by an Asuka Tenjoin. So, I have been challenged, and yes, I shall accept the challenge, even though I don't own Soul Calibur 6, but I can fix that right away. Off to GameStop! Assuming, of course, that we still have one. My wallet, my keys, my hat. Let's do this. Alright guys, here we go, Soul Calibur 6, PlayStation 4, tournament's coming up, let's do this! This is Mark Rodriguez, and you're watching the Video Game Masters, and since Polk isn't around, my wristband is safe. So, today we're talking about Soul Calibur 6. If I remember, I actually missed out on Soul Calibur 5. I think that uh, Johnny and Pete reviewed that one. I don't know where the hell I was, but uh, I'm not going to miss out on Part 6. Here we go. And in case you guys are wondering, like, yo, where did this beard come in so fast between now and the intro? Well, that's because... While I was reviewing the game and checking it out, I was also training. I was preparing myself. I was mastering the skills and techniques to win in that awesome tournament I was challenged to. So yes, not only are we going to review the game, we are also going to prepare for the tournament. So let's check it out. Believe in your power and reach for victory. Well, let us begin as planned. At least your stance looks good. Soul Calibur 6 came out in 2018 by Bandai Namco for the Xbox One, Windows PC, and PlayStation 4. The game takes things back to the era of the first Soul Blade and Soul Calibur games, so the favorite characters that were missing from Part 5 are now back in action. The overall plot of Soul Calibur 6 retells the story of Soul Edge and Soul Calibur dealing with how Siegfried got possessed by Soul Edge to become Nightmare. This allows for classic characters like Taki, Sopitia, and Shanghua to return. The rest of the story takes place after the events of Soul Calibur 5 where you, as an original character you make up yourself, must stop the new character as well from recreating the evil seed, all while deciding whether you want to give in to your inner darkness or reject it and embrace the light. The new characters in the game are the before mentioned as well, who fights with magic gloves. One of them contains the powers of Soul Edge, and the other one contains the powers of Soul Calibur. And you also get Gro, a member of the Aval organization who deals with anyone infected by these cursed swords. He's also been turned into an outsider by Aswell and seeks to fight his inner demons. Oh man, oh what the fuck! <laughs> First time I played Soul Calibur. This is the first time he's ever played. Are you sure you're ready for this tournament? Oh, <laughs> shut up, both of you. Soul Calibur has always had guest characters, and this game has quite a few. First off, the base game already has Geralt of Rivia from the Witcher series, and that's pretty awesome. For added DLC, there is also Tubi from the game Nier Automata, and now the latest DLC character release is none other than Haomaru from the Samurai Showdown series. Finally, Haomaru and Mitsuruji can clash swords to see who is the best. Soul Calibur 6 has a lot of cool game mechanics, mostly from the other games, but the most notable new one is the Reversal Edge. Both characters go into this super cool slow motion type clash, and depending on what button both opponents press, you can either dodge the attack, reverse the attack, land a brand new attack, cool things like that. It kind of feels like rock, paper, and scissors to me. Oh, damn it, I lost again. Hey, bro, you're not paying money for that tournament, are you? Oh, no, no, it's a free tournament. You know, it's like free for YouTube, so I didn't, it didn't cost me anything. Oh, thank God. Hey, what does that mean? Oh, oh, nothing, bro. You're doing good. You're doing really good. Mm-hmm. When your soul gauge is full, you can choose between doing the critical edge or the soul edge. The critical edge is a super cool cinematic finishing movie you see in a lot of fighting games nowadays, like this one. This is as far 
far as you go. You'll be lost to history. And the Soul Charge will make the character unleash this powerful burst of energy that shoves the opponent away. And now, they gain more powerful versions of the regular attack or some new attacks for a limited time. Some of the fighters even transform. Deciding whether you use the Critical Edge or the Soul Charge at the right moment can decide whether or not you can survive the battle or be lost to the pages of history. Alright guys, so here are my thoughts on Soul Calibur 6. The game is a lot of fun, and everyone was happy to see their old favorites return after being missing from Part 5. Now, I'm not the best Soul Calibur player out there, gotta admit. The game is definitely much more fun for me to play with some friends or with my bro, just kill some time in the afternoon, but online, oh boy, I get simply wrecked online and with no mercy. I still have to master the reversal edge, it just seems to never work in my favor. I don't know, I gotta practice some more, or I'm doing something wrong, but I'm always on the losing end of this slow motion battle. I do love the soul charge though, it does add an extra layer of strategy, you gotta decide what's better for me, the super move or the soul charge. I also love how some of the characters transform, it kinda gives you that super saiyan vibe, so that's kinda cool as well. For the people that love to create their own characters, and there's a lot of you out there that love to create your characters, this game actually allows for up to a hundred created character slots and they keep adding new costume pieces and colors and details and whatever with DLC sets, so you guys can just go nuts. Now, I do find it kind of funny that almost everyone I run into that is an original character is always this dark and gothic demonic edgelord character. Like, everyone wants to be some kind of evil demon thing. Though I do find this Ivy variant to be pretty cool, so my props to you for this design. This one's pretty cool. Overall, Soul Calibur 6 is an amazing game with great graphics, gorgeous stages, good music, that good nostalgia feel because it does take you back to Soul Calibur 1 and 2 and Soul Edge and all that, and it's just a fun game overall. And that's Soul Calibur 6 for the PS4. Very awesome game, I really enjoyed it, and now it's time to go for that tournament. This is Mark Rodriguez here, thanks for watching and see you next time, and I have a tournament to win. I was kicking ass and taking names, just slicing and dicing. It was amazing, man. It was like so. You uh, lost in the first round, didn't you? Oh, yeah. It's okay. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to hide. You don't have to cry. It's okay. I got you.